I can't believe I haven't told this story already. My grandkids absolutely love this story. Uh, back in 1980-ish, 1979-ish, uh, I was on a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the Mormons. And I was with my, my cousin, Doug Hunt. Uh, he was my cousin. My, so my, my uncle Jay, it was his son. He actually came out of the deaf program to train me in the hearing program. And I was a brand new missionary, probably a one month, maybe a month and a half, two months out. He trained me for the first two or three months of my mission. Well, it was very, very common for us to um, walk in the rainy area of Longpoke, California. There were a lot of snails, and he'd get mad at me if I'd step on the hard shell snails, or he'd get mad at me if I step on a bug or something like that. But anyway, it was funny. But there was lots of, lots of rain, and with the rain, there was lots of snails and stuff. It was hard to walk around without stepping on them. Yeah, anyway, um, so we we were we were working this really rich area one time where all the doctors and dentists and rich people live up there in a in a higher class area I suppose and we were knocking on doors and I was kind of a rookie and so forth but uh, anyway and I didn't like uh, I, I I love I love my dog and I like dogs in general I just like when they bark or they bite so. Um, and I don't have anything against the people. I don't have anything against the dogs. But but this one time, this is one of the other times, there's another dog story that I tell about Elder Arnold almost getting bit by a big bulldog. But anyway, on this particular situation, uh, we were knocking on a, a really nice uh, house. That We were knocking on the door of a really nice house. And as we knocked, this poodle that was about, I don't know, it was a pretty good-sized poodle. It wasn't a little tiny poodle. It was pretty big, you know, like a mid-sized larger poodle, it came running to the door, uh, actually it's running to the window. So the door was facing, I was facing the door, and there was a window right here. And so, and, it, and we were there, and, and that dog started yap, 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 and he was just barking like crazy, going nuts, you know. I thought, man, I hope that dog doesn't come out and try to bite me. So the, the lady answers the door, she opens the door, and as soon as she opens the door, that bar dog's bark, bark, and he comes out and tries to bite me. And anyway, anyway as he tries to bite me, he tries to bite my private area, and and I and I hurried and backed up, and he just bat, he bit and almost got my private area. I thought, you son of a bee! And as it as it landed on the ground after because it jumped to get me, as it landed on the ground, I kicked that thing as hard as I could with my right foot. I kicked that thing so hard, wham! And up against the door, it hit, and then it, and it ricocheted into the into the house and went yiping down the hall. Yip 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 yip. And my companion, my Doug, my companion is like, hey, I can't believe you just kicked this lady's dog and this lady's sitting there going. And I says, we're from the Church of Jesus Christ, the Latter-day Saints. We're the Mormons. We have a special message today. Would you like to hear our message today? And she says, not today, thank you. <laughs> and she shut the door. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I hope I didn't kill that thing. But man, it about, it about, it about killed my children. Anyway. Um, I, luckily I have four kids, but that poodle almost got me to the point where I was unable to have kids. So, uh, poodles beware.